everybody. Welcome back to the channel. There seems to be trouble in paradise. America is going down the toilet. Uh, right now, Donald Trump is being blocked from government agencies uh, because he is not cooperating uh, with the transition laws. Um, there are things that Donald Trump wants and uh, they are not wanting to give it to him. He doesn't want any background checks on his cabinet picks. Now, historically, that has been a part of the process, and Donald Trump doesn't want anyone digging around in the backgrounds of the people that he has selected. Um, a lot of them have very deeply tarnished backgrounds, and some of them have criminal backgrounds, and Donald Trump believes that because he is the president that he can waive all of that. So he is obviously having a lot of problems. Uh, the people that he are, he's picking... Uh, they are having questions as to whether or not they should be over uh, very uh, deep defense and security things concerning the country. And uh, Donald Trump, again, believes that he is above the law, that he can, he can bypass all of that. And he is right now trying to figure out ways to bypass the laws and making it so that his people do not have to have background checks. Now, a lot of people are challenge challenging this because... Um, even some of the lowest levels of government, you have to have background checks. But Trump doesn't believe that he nor his team should have to be subjected to any of the laws. And so he is being blocked. Uh, they are not passing on certain information to him. Uh, I want you all to take a listen at the report on this so far and see how this stuff is just becoming such a huge mess. But this is what America wanted. Oh, this is what they all wanted. Everyone has their reasons for voting for Trump or not voting for him. Uh, you have those who have their reasons for voting for Kamala or not voting for her. But in the grander scheme of things, uh, there are some very, very tripped out things going to unfold with this new administration. And people who thought that he was going to save their country for them or save their, their, their group of people and just put their necks, their foot on the necks of everybody else. Oh, the foot is going on your neck too. It's not just for one group. Uh, everybody is going to be affected by all of these very strange changes that are happening in this country. But um, anyway, take a listen at this report. And of course, you know, I will be right back. The nominees' names have been announced. And right. if Trump isn't going to comply with the existing protocols and practices, then we should comply with it and ask the Senate and the White House to request it now. How, how commonly is that done? Since you said in the 1960s, it, it's been able to, I mean, there was legislation said, go ahead and do this, but how often does it get done? Yeah, so, so again, n no legislation passed by Congress. That's one of those things you can add to the list, Alex, a long list of things that need to get fixed because of the, pre the previous Trump administration still hasn't been fixed. So we look at the intent of the executive orders and the MOUs, and the intent is clear. The FBI has been doing this since Dwight Eisenhower. It's required to have a government background investigation for employment and especially for a security clearance, which all these nominees will have to have. And if Trump isn't going to do it, we are flying blind in, turn of, in terms of the Senate judiciary, who really won't have the benefit of of uh, uh, classified information and files, intercepts, foreign entanglements mm. and business transactions. A private firm can do none of that. There is. He's got to sign the agreements that trigger these things. Time. And I think, look, it's been part of his weeks. problem is he doesn't like, well, he's Almost had enough good. time to name all these people, yeah. but not enough time to sign a piece of paper yes. or to have Linda McMahon or Howard Lutnick sign a piece of paper. Look, here's the thing, John. He doesn't trust the FBI. So he doesn't want the FBI doing these background checks. And by the way, he wants if, to vet the FBI, if, not right. have the FBI. Yeah. Vet if I had Robert, look, if I had Robert F. Kennedy yeah. Jr. and Pete Hegseth with some of those background issues that they have, I wouldn't necessarily want the FBI looking around. No. He doesn't want background checks and he's not decided to put people in that are qualified. I mean, and not to mention, this has to be a historic number of people that have been accused of sexual assault or some type of sexual misconduct in, in some way. If you are going to work in one of these agencies, you will have to be most likely vetted to a higher level than the person that's running that agency. That's a problem. But for whatever reason with this team, it doesn't seem like it's a problem. He's absolutely deciding that he wants loyalists. This is something that Project 2025 
talked about. It was about putting the most loyal people into position. It wasn't about making sure that you had the most qualified people in position. If we do not have an agreement for FBI background checks, as far as I know, the Transition Committee has not made that agreement yet. This has been something that's going on back to Eisenhower's days. And when you look at some of the nominees and some of the issues with them, not all of them, not all of them, but when you look at it, you have to be able to find out what went on. We require these background checks of line uh, DEA agents, drug enforcement agents. We require it of first-time prosecutors for the federal government. Why wouldn't we get these background checks for the most important job in the United States government? So if they keep delaying on these background checks, uh, we will have a delay in getting these cabinet officials in, and I don't want to have a delay. I want to have the hearings. I want to make a decision on each one of them on the merits, as I've done in the past, and I can't do that without the background checks. The Supreme Court, in a 9-0 decision, said that Congress sets its own recesses and makes its own decisions. You already have Senator Thune, the incoming leader on the Republican side, making very clear that they don't have a vote to ram through people uh, during these recess appointments because in the end, it is the Republicans that are going to have to make a decision if these people are qualified for these jobs. They have the votes. They have over 51 votes right now in the Senate. So while it is our job under the Constitution to raise questions, to ask them where they stand on issues, to look at if what they're going to do, whether it's um, running the Justice Department or running the Health Department, if it's truly going to help the American people, that's our job. In the end, it's going to be the Republicans in the U.S. Senate their decision about whether they want to put these people in place. Okay, so we see America's system is crumbling fast. Not just America, but the Western nations, they are crumbling fast. All of this lines up with biblical prophecy. I know some people don't understand the connection between Babylon the Great is fallen, is fallen, and America and the West, a lot of people don't see the connection. This is why you have to understand when the Bible says spiritual things are spiritually discerned, um, the carnal mind cannot comprehend the things of the spirit. This is what is happening because a lot of people, uh, they don't have a, they don't understand uh, what is happening and that this system has to fail. They don't understand that this system has to, to fall down. Um, the things that America has done, the things that the West has done, their sins, uh, their lack of repentance, all of this is the reason why the Most High has allowed entities, principalities, dark powers, all kinds of influence to help to bring this system to its knees. Um, as a matter of fact, they won't even, they won't be brought to their knees. They will be brought to total destruction biblical destruction the most high has poured out the vials of the wrath of his anger because these are unrepentant nations and america is the biggest um, of them all in terms of how they police the world um, in hypocrisy america pretends to be the moral authority and the moral standard of everyone in the world but they are deeply immoral unrepentant, uh, just very nefarious in nature, reprobate, hypocrites. And because of that, the judgment of the Most High has to come down, right? You know, back to this subject at hand, Donald Trump, uh, he is believing that uh, he does not have to abide by the rules. He wants to slide in loyalists, as they say, meaning people that are loyal to him, like he's some type of dictator, but not people who are necessarily um, qualified for the job. Many of these people are not even qualified. While they're screaming and hollering about black people being DEI hires as if they're not qualified, but some type of charity case uh, where they had to meet some kind of quota, they know good and well that many of these black people are greatly qualified or even overqualified in some situations, but they want to pretend like they are not qualified while trying to slide in their own unqualified people who they know are not. They don't want background checks. Many of these people don't even have any um, experience in politics. 
any understanding of world policies or world um, uh, laws or any of this. But they want them to be in positions of authority. Having top security clearance is a requirement for many of these jobs. But Donald Trump is saying that he wants to bypass that. He doesn't, he doesn't believe that his people need a security clearance. And then you have his little uh, White House buddy, the president buddy, Elon Musk, who they are saying he is really running things at this point. And Donald Trump is going along with it. They claim that he's tired of Elon, but Elon has invested hundreds of millions of dollars in this man and into his campaign for him to win. It was stated before that Elon didn't even think um, Donald Trump was suited for anything. But all of a sudden he's his best friend? Really? This was all a ploy for Elon to find himself a place or to carve himself a place in the White House. And America sat back and watched it happen. Your American dream is going down the toilet. The Most High is using all of these players that are in position right now for the total downfall of this reprobate nation. It has to happen. So while you all are arguing about which candidate was the most holy and the most godly, you are kidding yourself with that line of talk. You're kidding yourself. You have deceived your own self. That's why the Most High says, the pride of your heart has deceived you. You all think you have the most righteous candidate because he made a Bible. You are out of your sick mind. Out of your minds. This whole thing is just a big clown show. And the world is laughing. It amazes me how Donald Trump says we are the laughing stock of the world. He says America's the laughing stock, but he don't see himself in the equation at all. He believes that Joe Biden single-handedly made this country the laughing stock. I guess he forgot about all the, the jokes and the laugh and the taunting that happened while he was president the first time. And now is only going to increase even more because before he even takes office, he hasn't even taken office the second time yet. And they are already starting to ridicule him being back in office. World leaders, both he and Joe Biden are a disgrace. This is why the Bible says that the, he's going to remove or take the wise men out of Edom. There are no wise men in Edom any longer. They are the laughing stock because the Mosai says he is going to laugh at them in their day of calamity. This is what we see happening. He's poured out the vials of his wrath. He's going to unravel and undo everything that they've put together. And then he's going to laugh at them at their fall. Because in order for the Most High to do what he's going to do and bring real peace to the earth. He has got to remove those who removed peace out of the earth. I'm done. Share your thoughts on this in the comment section below. As always, keep it tight and keep it right. But until the next live or the next video, stay prayed up. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.